Hello, welcome back to BIM and Beyond. As a part of getting started with Dynamo video series, let us learn about the Dynamo Player. Dynamo Player provides a simple way to execute Dynamo scripts in Revit. It can be accessed from the Manage tab of Revit. Dynamo Player displays a list of Dynamo scripts in a specified directory, along with the current status of each script. These are few of the sample Dynamo scripts which comes as a part of the installation. In an easy-to-navigate dialog, Dynamo Player provides default directory for scripts and providing input for scripts in Dynamo Player. In this video, a project file is opened with metric construction template. We will execute a script from the sample files, that adds levels above the selected level in Revit. Open the north view, to visually see the changes in Revit environment when new levels are added. The input for the Dynamo script can be modified through the edit input option. Here, you can see the different inputs that will be required to create the additional levels. First input is the number of new levels being added. Next, select the level from which the new levels needs to be calculated. In this example, we will select level 2, which has an elevation value of 4000 mm. Then, the incremental elevation value is set to 4500 mm. Once the inputs are entered, Click on play button and this will execute the script. New levels are created as per the given input. To have a better understanding on how the input nodes are defined, let's click on the edit icon to open the script in Dynamo. This is a sample script from Autodesk and you can find that the nodes are grouped based on their functions. It is always a good practice to provide descriptive note about the script and to group the nodes based on their functions. This will help the users to understand the prerequisites before executing a script and also help in installing the required packages. In order to define a node as an input in Dynamo Player, right-click on the node and mark as, is input. <laughs> 